I want to talk about a recession. In 2022, politicians argued over, did we have a recession or did we not? Because two negative quarters of GDP in a row is what has always been a recession's true definition in my economic study. Well, we're definitely going to have a slowdown now. It's a lot of factors. The factors include that interest rates have moved high, the yield curve is inverted, meaning that the two-year treasury trades higher than the 10-year, and that usually foretells a recession. So I'm a believer that one's coming, and now it's topped by bank failures, runs on banks, and uncertainty in banks. I did a video recently on unintended consequences, and one of those is, is now bank regulators will turn around and they'll change capital requirements and how banks look at risk. And when that happens, it's usually drilled in on one thing, right? Now it'll be on liquidity, capital, interest rate risk, because that's what got these banks in trouble, was really interest rate risk, which caused liquidity events, which drains your capital. But what we're gonna see in the near future is the unintended consequences. Banks will withdraw from certain credit markets. Not completely, but they'll tighten their standards. With higher rates, it's already harder to get deals done. And especially, I believe, in commercial real estate, residential real estate, and those are drivers. Construction is a huge driver in the U.S. economy. And the U.S. economy, when we, when we cough, the world gets a cold. So I think there's some real challenges coming up. So I would suggest in your business, you do some planning, some strategic planning as to how will you go the rest of this year if your sales are flat, if they fall, if people pay you slower, if some of your clients go out of business and you have credit losses in your accounts receivable. But I would tell you to look at ways to tighten your belt, streamline your processes, and run a better business. That's what you can learn from recessions. Now, the old definition of recession in closing is, when your brother-in-law is unemployed, that's a recession. When you're unemployed, it's a depression.